Hey there, I'm Doris. Um, in this video that you're about to watch, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up scheduled messages for your Airbnb through the Airbnb app. Now in this lesson, I pop my phone up on the screen and I open my Airbnb app and I walk you through the process um, in real time of setting up a scheduled message. So these messages are um, like a booking confirmation message, a message with check-in instructions, checkout instructions, those sorts of things. And I'll show you how you can set it up so that it's automatically sent to your guests and it includes details about their stay automatically so that you are not having to do this manually every single time. Now this lesson is part of a free mini course that I have. And in the mini course, I also include some scheduled message templates that you can use to help you get started. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to put the information below on how to get the free mini course that includes the scheduled message templates. Um, and the, the video that you see now and the information that you see in the mini course are all part of a full course that I have on doing all the things in the Airbnb app. And that course is, in, is for people who are, you know, current Airbnb hosts that are tired of, you know, fumbling through the app, trying to figure out how to do what they want to do. And, and people who are, who know that there must be an easier way, a more efficient way to set things up. There are, and I'll help you do that. And then also, I think this course is great for people who are co-hosts or aspiring co-hosts, because, you know, when you go and present yourself to a host, you can say, Hey, listen, I have gone through a course that, um, shows me how to do all the things in the app. And I'm confident in my ability to, you know, handle the technology related to running your Airbnb. And that can really help set you apart as you try to get these jobs. And I think this course is also a great fit for aspiring hosts. So if you have, you know, you have your Airbnb, but you don't have it live yet. If you're working on your property or in the process of getting your property, this can be a great time to go through this course, you know, set you up with a very firm foundation. And when your Airbnb is live, you'll be off to the races. You know, you will feel confident in your ability to do all the things related to running your Airbnb through the app. So in the course, there's six modules. Um, there's a section called TLDR, which includes 34 different um, videos along with written instructions on how to do everything. And this section is just there for you to go and use as a reference. So if you need to quickly figure out how to, you know, set up a custom weekend promotion, scroll on down to that section and you'll find a video for that along with written instructions. And then I also include, you know, a section with common questions and a section with some bonuses that are just designed to make your life a little easier um, as an Airbnb host. So I just wanted to put all of that out there about the course because what you're about to watch is a an example of what you'll find in the course. And I'll link to the course below. And I'm also going to include a coupon code for people who, you know, have made their way over here to my YouTube channel to learn about, you know, successfully running an Airbnb. I'm happy to have you. I hope that you find this video helpful and I'll see you later. Hey there, welcome to your lesson on setting up scheduled messages. Now scheduled messages are a tool inside of the Airbnb app that you can use to automate some of the messages that you need to send to guests. For example, you can set up a scheduled message template to be sent to guests immediately after they have a confirmed booking. You can include information in these scheduled messages like their name, check-in date, check-in time, your guidebook. You can also use these scheduled messages to send check-in information and check-out information. These are the types of messages that you send regularly to all your guests. And Airbnb, the Airbnb app makes it easy for you to automate those. So I'm going to pop my phone up on the screen and walk you through the process of setting up the scheduled messages. So here we go. All right, the first thing you need to do is open the Airbnb app. When you're in there, go down to messages. Once you click on messages, go up to the top right and you will see the message setting tab. Click on that. All right, once you're in message settings, choose scheduled messages. 
All right, once you click on schedule messages, go up and press the plus sign in the top right of the screen. Now, we need to name our message template. This is something that's just for you if your guests won't see it. So we're gonna go with booking confirmation message. That's what we're gonna set up here. All right, now, when we go down to the message, I went ahead and wrote a message and I'm going to simply paste it here and I left blanks for where we're going to add in what are called short codes. Now short codes are basically small chunks of code that tell Airbnb what to add into your message. For example, you can use a short code for the guest's first name and put that in your message and Airbnb will populate the name of each guest in that message, wherever you have that short code. You can do other things like check in date, etc. So we're going to say hi, and we're going to add in the short code for guest first name. Okay, and we'll scroll on down. We're going to add in the short code for check in date. There you go. Check in time, click insert. Check in time, there you go. And then we're going to do the guidebook. And you can scroll all the way down, find guidebook. <clears throat> so anything that is saved within Airbnb can be used as a short code, and they'll put in that specific information. All right, now scroll on down and select your listing. If you have more than one, just make sure you choose the one you want this for. And then you need to choose the action that's going to prompt the message to be sent. So in this case, the action is booking confirmed. And then you can schedule the time, like when it's sent. We're gonna go with five minutes after. Okay, now click create. And you have your scheduled message set up. Good job.